Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Yeah, so um, I did uh, a my last video. It's been a while since I did a video. I'm getting very busy. I'm working with a lot of writers, great writers, like David Staples and Jamie Baskow. It's just amazing. And uh, both of them tell me, tell them, tell me to say in my videos, and it's kind of, sometimes it's hard for me to say. But the reason why they want to work with me is honestly, I know hockey really well, and that's why if we're watching, this is why we're watching. Yeah, I don't have the fancy house, or I don't have all the fancy stuff in the background, and not much for uh, doing editing and all that kind of stuff like that. It's pure hockey knowledge. If you want to see what more to do with that, I do a thing with a guy named Brian called B Pal Picks. We have a Patreon where we uh, Patreon is an app you can add. You can become part of it. Pay uh, people pay us per month, and we make them a lot of money, like a lot of money, with our hockey picks and going to be baseball picks. And this is the reason why people follow us, and this is the reason why you get great hockey writers that want to work with me. I like working with them because they're great hockey minds as well. <clears throat> That's why. If you're wondering, why should I listen to this old guy who doesn't do like all the fancy computer stuff? <laughs> Good question. But that's why people follow me. Anyways, back to the frolic, shall we? Uh, and, I'm, and I'm weird. I'll tell you that right now. I'm weird and fun and enjoy having a good time. Don't take anything I say seriously. If you're wondering what I'm all about, you're probably not going to find out. <laughs> I, I like to laugh at myself. Okay. I did Toronto Maple Leafs uh, offering up Nylander in my last video, which was a while ago. And Aiden Benman, I think that's how you say your name. Tell me if you say it differently. Or Arvidin Benman, something, Arvidin Benman. Why didn't I write that down better than that? This is very important information. I sent you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace for commenting down in the comment section. It should have got you by now. Uh, if not, I'll go to send Hernandez to the Spanking Institute and get that taken care of right away. But he made an offer for Nylander from the New York Islanders, who I thought was a very good possibility for a guy like Nylander. There's lots of reasons for that, right? Lamorello, the connection with Toronto. Uh, of course, we know... <clears throat> Tavares and the situation with that that happened there. So now they go out. Toronto gets in cap space, cap issues because of Tavares. You can go back to my last videos where I said I didn't like the Tavares move and a lot of people shit on me because of that. And I can understand that. It doesn't make sense on paper or in uh, talent-wise that I would say that I didn't like the Tavares move, but it did make sense cap-wise. And then losing Kadri to me was a ah, bad move. Bad move. And and you can say what you want about Babcock. He was right. Losing Kadri, the, this team does did not have enough grit for the playoffs. It The game is changing, but that, I don't think that's ever going to change. You're going to need size and grit in the playoffs. Probably forever, unless they change the rules even more. So anyways, he offered up Bailey. Mayfield and he says a pick I can assure you if you're offering up Bailey and Mayfield I too think Mayfield is underrated uh, 1.4 million I believe he is for the next uh, three years I think he's a steal that's a steal at that price and uh, Bailey had a great connection with Tavares I understand also a very underrated two-way player who can put up points if given that opportunity um and uh, first round pick. I think that's a fair offer, actually. I really do. I don't uh, now. I'm looking, so I decided that I would go out and look at what other thing that the Leafs would do. But th he he gives a lot of good reasons for this. Bailey's connection with Tavares. They played very well together. Um, was a biggest one. Mayfield makes under two million, is on a really good contract, and is actually a lot better defenseman than people give him credit for. I think he would work out well with Toronto system. One of the knocks on Mayfield is he's not aggressive enough for his size, but the Leafs seem to like players like that. 
<laughs> it might work out well. And he would have to be a first round pick in next year's draft, which could be kind of something that, which kind of makes, decreases that pick a little bit. Now you could throw like an Aho in there or something like that, but that's really hitting the Islanders depth by doing that. Maybe, you know, they have some prospects that you were wanting to look at as well. Um, the one that comes to mind, come on. Of course, my Wi-Fi goes all screwy here, right, when I'm talking to you. But the one that comes to mind is Bellows, Kiefer Bellows. But he's been struggling in the minors right now. So it's hard to say. I think they would probably want the first round draft pick next year. But I think it would definitely be a first. So I looked around at some teams that may be able to beat that offer. And I'm going to send this out to a whole bunch of teams to beat that offer for Nylander. And we'll see what we'll get. But one of the teams, I'm just going to say that my offer, by the way, was Larson Benson from Edmonton is one of the uh, prospects. And our first this year, which would be a 24th first pick. I think that's a little better offer than what uh, what uh, Arvidin is offering right now. You can tell me what you think about that, mainly because... Larson is can play in the top four. Is only making about four million. He will need a new contract, but probably won't demand that much of a raise. And the first round pick is now in a very deep draft. The other team that I came up with that might be able to beat that offer, and I do believe would be willing to possibly offer this up. Dallas may offer John Klingberg uh, straight up at four point two five million. Uh, to get Nylander because they desperately, desperately need to keep on adding to that top six to get something going there. Uh, they have Radulov on the right wing. Joe Pavelski is really starting to show that they paid too much for money for him now. They do have some cap room to be able to add another player like that. And you can play Joe Pavelski lower, which I think at this stage of his career would be better, and then Nylander could maybe find some chemistry with uh, Jamie Benn or Sagan as uh, centers or possibly Rupa, R Rope Hints. Now, Rope Hints is going to have to be paid. Dennis Garianoff is going to have to be paid. So they're going to have to do some fancy dancing to fit him in. But I think they'd be able to fit him in. And I think that would be a better offer. I don't know if they would go higher than John Klingberg, maybe even offer a pick or something like that, but they are pretty desperate to add to that top six. So that's my offer now. I've got, I gave you an Edmonton offer. I gave you a Dallas offer. People out there, I'm gonna send this on Facebook to as many people, if you're listening here, put down your offer. I'll do it in my next video for Nylander. Who would your team offer for Nylander? What would you offer for Nylander? And we'll see if we can make it work. And then we'll call up, uh, We'll call up Darren Brendan Shanahan and Dubas and we'll tell them like what to do so they know because they probably don't know. I know you're listening right now. We don't even need to call him up. Dubas, see, you thought he was like sitting at the edge of his seat going, what am I going to do? How am I going to work this cap? And here we have come to the rescue, Mr. Dubas. So, yeah, you can thank us. Maybe you just send us a contract or something like that to uh, make it good. But here's some pearls. For aid for Air Avidin ben Benman, thank you for commenting that wonderful offer. That was great. That's wonderful offer pearls to your land right there. Everybody hit the subscribe and the bell right now. Ah, uh -uh. subscribe bell right now. There you go. Even if you've already done it, do it. <laughs> That's my full forty-two, boys and girls. Send me your comments. Send me the, hit the bell, hit the subscribe. Head over to BPAL Picks. We just did our predictions for uh, two, three NHL, two, three play-in games that are coming up right now that are fantastic. And you might want to head over to the Patreon where there's a lot of money to be made. Have a great day. Lots of love to you.